Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, I like, uh. Whoa, well, what? There we go. In the last episode, we got off of Idejima and we discovered that Alex is missing. So, like, where the heck could he be, you know? Well, let's take a look around. But before that, I have some enemies I want to encounter. No, not these guys. But we do get to hear Felix's awesome battle theme for the first time. <laughs> You know, back when I was a kid and I played this game, I used to think that Felix's theme kind of sucked compared to Isaac's, but now I'm not really so sure. Anyway, meet the giant bat. He has 32 HP. He's weak to wind and fire, strong against earth and water. His skills include Sonic Wave, which is a attack-oriented wind elemental attack, and he has a 1 in 16 chance of dropping an herb. Really, he's not that big of a deal. None of the enemies are at this point in the game. Might take us a while before we meet the other enemy that's in this region. So you know what, screw that. <laughs> Ooh, very Indian sounding. You don't look familiar. Have you been to Dila before? Nope. Well then, welcome to Dila, the northernmost town on the continent of Indra. Yep, I knew it. it we've reached India. Unable to take back up memory, what? Uh, okay. <clears throat> what was I doing? That's right. I want to set Shiva's mind read to... What? Oh. I'm spacing out here, as usual. I want to set whirlwind to L and mind read to R. So we can just read anyone's mind by pressing R. With all the salt water on the ground, what happened to our crops? That tidal wave left a lot of standing water in our village. The worst part is that it's all salt water. And yeah, I know, I'm not doing an Indian accent, I, because it would totally sound racist. <laughs> Did they feel like all of Indra moved when that wave hit? I don't know. Wow, the wave must have knocked you silly if you didn't notice it. Thank goodness for that mountain range to the north. If that range weren't there, we would have been washed away for sure. Uh, that wave knocked me over and now I can't get up. I must have been born to suffer. Wait a second, if the wave came from up in this direction, why are you lying on your back? Uh, you want a boat? What kind of insensitive jerk are you? Everyone knows all our boats were destroyed by the tidal wave. Well, excuse me, princess, I didn't know. <clears throat> eh, let's go talk to the mayor. I think he's up here in this house. Yeah. A lot of folks said they heard a terrible rumbling from the southeast. Yes, me, it was the road to Madra crumbling the bits. We was awful, but that noise that followed was even worse. The shock alone probably could have destroyed the road to Madra. Between the pirates and the tidal waves, this town has the worst luck. Now that Briggs has been arrested in Madra, maybe our luck is changing. I sure hope so. In all my years as mayor, I've never seen a wave like that before. I'm grateful that nobody was seriously injured. Uh, you got a guy that's like lying on his back like right outside your house. You might want to look out the window or something, dude! What? I fell in the puddle and got my clothes dirty. Mom's gonna have a fit. <laughs> 
Yay! Puddles in the woods! Yay! Yay! We never got puddles like this! Not even when it rains! That ancient tower to the east? It's the Shrine of the Sea God. Listen, if you're not into being cursed horribly, you should stay away from there. Hmm. How much money do we have? 255... That's not enough for anything! Come on! I wonder if those two are still out there. They know it's off limits. Freaky and Tavi sure are out late. Hmm. Uh? Hey! You look like you already know a little about us, huh? Yeah, you're a genie, aren't you? See, so you know all about us, you, so you must be an adept. Even I know that! You look like you're new around here, barking on a dangerous journey in a strange land. And I thought so. Well, I'm looking for my companions. We were parted when Mount Aleph erupted. Would you mind helping me find my companions? Come on, take me with you. I'll even lend you and your allies my powers. You see, the more djinn you have with you, the more powerful your synergy becomes. All I have to do is set us and then unleash us in battle. If you gather a bunch of us, you'll have all that power at your disposal. So, what do you say? Will you be, will you be a pal and take me with you? Sure! I'm so happy! Oh, you won't regret this, I promise. The Venus Jenny Echo has become Felix's pal. While well, I'm here, would you like to get me to give you a quick explanation about Jin? We already know all about it. Well, that's it. Now we're pals forever. Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about Jin, refer to the help, okay? You and your friends should make sure you get the most out of us, Jin. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. So now we have our first Jenny. We will equip it to Felix. And we are going to get going down this way. <clears throat> as much as I want to check out the Shrine of the Sea God, there are some Actually no, that can wait. Giant bats, again. Anyway, time for me to explain Jin for those of you who are just starting here. Jin are little creatures that have attacks inside them that you can unleash. Kind of like a Pokemon, but with only one attack. Once you use a Jin, you can have it stand by to... Uh... We'll get into that in the next battle. Just hang on a sec. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, once you've used the Jin to attack, you can use its power to summon an elemental spirit. In this case, using one Venus Jin to summon Venus. It takes out a certain percentage of the enemy's AP, uh, HP, plus the base damage for the summon. They can be really useful against bosses, so I would recommend using them a lot. And a new feature in this game is that you have tablets that let you use summons that involve multiple djinn. So, for example, later in the game we'll come across... Oh, here's a wild wolf. Wild wolves have 45 HP. They're weak to fire and strong against wind. Their skills include Fatal Fang, which is a non-elemental attack. They have a 1 in 16 chance of dropping an herb. So yeah, stuff. You know? It's stuff! Anyway, they seem to only be interested in attacking Felix. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, see, we got an herb. Anyway, we want to get going to the uh, Shrine of the Sea God. A thing about attacking enemies in this game is that it's kind of like Final Fantasy 1. If you set a guy to attack something and it's already dead, you'll just wind up wasting your turn. So you want to be careful about who you assign to what. Also, Felix probably needs to be healed a little bit, wouldn't you say? Whoops. I am stupid! You know why? Because I keep pressing star! <laughs> anyway, we want to go in here. The Shrine of the Sea God. 
Alright, I'm gonna throw the rope again. Just don't miss this time! Oh no, you missed again! Sorry, Tabby, I can't do it. I thought I got lucky when that wave carried me up here. What, are you crazy? It might be stupid for a good ten minutes! Yeah, yeah, just find some way to get me down from here! Fine, just don't jump down or do anything dumb, okay? Eh, if we had Synergy that would let us throw ropes, maybe we could help him, but we don't have anything like that. And Felix is a wimp because he is not strong enough to throw a rope of that distance! Ah! You scared me! I thought you were one of the grown from Dyla, so who are you? Look, I'm kind of busy trying to help my pal Tavi right now, okay? Can't find anything out around here to help him get down from here. Yeah. We're just gonna have to come back later, I think, because we can't really do anything to help him. Much as it bugs me, we can't do anything to help him. You know. <laughs> Welcome to Kandorian Temple. Have you come to see Master Poi? I guess. The Master will see no one. Leave now and do not return. Once the period of meditation has begun, none may enter the temple grounds. Master Poi's teaching requires absolute concentration. Well then, let's see if we can sneak in. This wall looks rather suspicious, wouldn't you say, Felix? If you remember from Golden Sun 1, Whirlwind can get rid of the ivy that's blocking caves. Fantastic work, Felix. Keep a watchful eye for any strange looking areas. Welcome to the basement of Kandorian Temple. It does sound kind of like the Dyla theme, but it's a completely different song. And it is an awesome song. <laughs> I hope to enter the temple one day. I want to learn from the master himself. I still can't believe that the older monks can levitate through meditation. If I card enough, maybe I'll be able to do it too. Maybe. Please don't break my concentration. I am lighter than air, floating, rising up. My mind is empty. My body is light. Now float. Float. I am not just meditating. I'm guarding the entry as well. It is important work. Someday I will be permitted to enter the temple. Empty the mind to lay the body. I've been fasting for days. I gotta be late enough by now. <clears throat> you there! Focus your mind! Did you see that, Master? No, no, no. You lack discipline. Now you! How's that, Master? Improving, slowly. Continue your meditation. Your turn. Master, have I done it? Not bad. You might stand a chance to succeed. I can do it, Master! Please, just let me try! Your skills lack polish. It may be dangerous. Do you still wish to enter? Yes, I do, I do! If you fail, you may lose more than just your pride. I do not fear death, Master! Do you fear death, Mr. Skeleton? Ho oh, ho, is that so? Very well then, it is time for your trial, my son. Enter the cave and ascend! Empty mind, empty body. By clearing my thoughts, I can ascend. Arrgh, I was so close! I can't believe I didn't make it! Gah, I'm so consumed with frustration that I can't clear my thoughts! He went in before me?! What nonsense! Wait, I guess I ought to be supportive and hope for his success. There's no way I'm rooting for that loser. Choke, choke, fall the test, then I'll get my chance! Heh. <laughs> 
Well, I guess we're gonna follow him in. I, we all know if he's gonna be alright. So, let's go.